gorgeous lot and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Vlogmas episode two. So if you're new here, my name is Vicky and I have decided to do a theme this year for my Vlogmas. Obviously it's not a normal year. So I've decided to do Vicky's top five. So I'm a mum of three and I figured it would be really good to do some tips and things that I live by. And today's theme is Vicky's top five money saving tips. Obviously coming into this Christmas, um, for many of us, we are struggling financially because of coronavirus and you know, you're not able to do the things that you were able to do before. So I just thought this would be a really good one to start um, to show you some of my five money saving tips. So tip number one is a trail mix for the children. So I first saw an idea similar to this on none other than Emily Norris's channel years ago, uh, but I never put it into practice until recently when I've gone from two to three children and I now have a baby that snacks a lot. I felt as if when I went shopping, I was buying so many different snacks and half the time you don't like them. And I just felt it was really expensive. And children are always saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. So we have got this um, gorgeous glass jar in our kitchen that we got from Neptune. I'll link it down below. And we keep um, a few different items in here. But in this one, I have put Cheerios, but these are the Aldi version, which were around about a pound. I also put some raisins in there and I buy them in the big bag. Again, they're about a pound a bag. And then I put a bag of sweet and salted popcorn in there. Now we're running a little bit low here, but this is what we end up with. And it's so easy just to decant into bowls when the boys are hungry and also when my stepdaughter's over. And it's something they all like and it's kind of healthy, kind of not. You know, it's sweet for them, but it's also got a bit of fruit in there, so I don't mind. And it's just something they can snack on. I definitely find that children eat when they're bored sometimes. So they say they're hungry when they're not. So this is a really, really good um, thing just to have on the side. And it's obviously so cheap. It cost me like three pounds to make and it will last ages. And it's just easier than having to think about what to buy. Just, you know, chucking it all in together and having it to hand as well. So tip number two is around Christmas. And this is something we put into place last year. So let's talk Christmas stockings. So Christmas stockings, um, ordinarily, I would have had sacks for the children, which I did. And as you know, um, in case there's any children watching this, that Santa fills up the sacks and it costs a lot of money. So these huge, huge sacks, I find that the children get all sorts of bits of rubbish and just stuff that you, you fill it up just to be so exciting for them on Christmas day, which is lovely, but then you spend your year sorting through all these little bits that they don't play with, the slime that's got stuck in your carpet, the little toys are everywhere. And I just feel like it is wasteful. Um, it's really, really wasteful. So we actually transitioned to these little stockings last year. Um, so I got these on Amazon. Um, I will try and find the same ones and I will link them down below. Uh, and then I just made these little name tags. So this is just a little brown um, star on a piece of red ribbon. So really nice size. It just means that you're not over filling these stockings or Santa isn't. So you are putting in just what you need and useful things, useful things that children are actually gonna use, but they still really enjoy it. Now, last year, Oscar did not question it. We didn't have Isla here last year and then my baby was just so young, he didn't pay any attention, but Oscar didn't even question it. He was so happy to open his stocking in the morning and I just really feel like that's a good idea. So that is my second money saving tip. My third money saving tip is also to do with Christmas and it's something that I have done this year. So a lot of people are trying to shop more locally. I have used Amazon a lot and I have used the big brands because they, there were certain things that I had to get from those shops because of what the children wanted. But I, there was something I wanted for my baby, which I can't tell you because I'm going to do a separate um, baby gift guide video. Um, and I'd seen it on um, just the website when I was on there and it was, I think it was a boutique baby website. There's a couple of boutique baby websites. I think Scandi Born is one of them. And this particular item was around 200 pounds, which I thought was just ridiculous, just because it looked nice. 
and you know I, I am not one to buy something just because it looks nice it has to be practical and also worth the money so I don't mind spending 200 pounds on something for my baby if I feel like it's going to get a lot of use but this is something that he will grow out of within six to 12 months I would say and I wasn't prepared to spend that much money so I went on to Etsy this is a really really good tip so I went on to Etsy and there's lots of people that make things and then list it on Etsy this particular item I found almost the identical item made out of the same material for about a third of the price so I think I ended up paying about 80 pounds for this item and it's beautiful it's so gorgeous and it was handmade by someone I'm putting money in someone's pocket that's probably at home making this and I just felt really good about it so um, it's just another way to save money is to just try and shop more local so try not to go for things just because they're like the biggest brand um you can find really similar items on ebay on amazon um on etsy but the thing i like about etsy is uh, there's a lot of handmade items and a lot of people sat at home making these um, rather than the big brands so yeah maybe that might help you all but give that a go so kind of shop more local is the money saving tip so this next tip is my absolute favourite, something I have transitioned from within the last month and it's transitioning from wet wipes to flannels, not for changing nappies may I add. I would buy a big box of 12 wipes and I would get through those wipes so fast because a lot of the wipes we use are wiping faces, hands, sides, you know, the high chair tray, I use wet wipes for everything. And I suddenly thought, I am literally buying boxes of 12 every other week at the moment. And it is not good for the environment and it's costing a fortune. So I went on Amazon and I bought a box of 40 flannels and it cost about 12 99 And I keep these rolled up under my sink and every day I'll get one out and I will just rinse it with warm water and I wipe Spencer's face and hands down because he gets mucky all the time. He's always got a snotty nose and i have found that my wet wipes are lasting me so so much longer and obviously 12 pounds for 40 i think 40 is a bit excessive because we didn't need 40 but i've got loads upstairs to use in the bathroom and i've also got like about 10 under the sink but it's just so easy and yeah i just i absolutely love that and i also feel like the flannels clean their face and their hands so much better than what a wet wipe does anyway. So not only does it save you money, it is more efficient in terms of the way it cleans your baby's face. So that is my favorite tip is the flannel idea. Very good for the environment and also very good on your pocket. Okay, so my final money saving tip is to do with washing. We all do loads and loads of washing, um, especially if you've got children and even more so if you've got babies that are eating and weaning. I used to buy the capsules, the pods, and probably lots of you that are watching this maybe already do this, but I used to buy the pods and they would cost me around five or six pounds for, five or six pounds for about 15. And I felt like I was buying that every week. I was buying a new box and it, it cost quite a lot of money. So I actually transitioned onto um, Fairy Non Bio because my mother-in-law told me to use it when I had my second baby. Um, but now I've just got the Audi version, which I personally feel is just as good. And you just fill up the little cap. Um, uh, you can use the cap of this, but I actually use, I think it's a personal cap. And you only fill it halfway if it's a normal size load and all the way to the top if it's a big load or heavily soiled items. And a bottle like this will last me about a month and it's £2.50. So I feel like that is a really, really good tip. If you're not doing it already, then go ahead. I buy non-bio because my boy's skin is quite sensitive, but you don't have to. They do have some nice smelling ones. They've got the biological and also the colour one in Aldi or wherever you get it from. Uh, but I absolutely love this. It is so efficient. It washes the clothes really well. I think it smells really nice. And it was £2.50 for a whole month's worth of washing. And I do a load every single day, sometimes two loads a day. So that is my final money saving tip. And that is to switch from the capsules or the tablets over to the liquid. So that is the end of my video. I'm really sorry if I spoke really like fast and like at the camera. I get a bit... I actually get a bit nervous and I just like get really excited and start talking 
but I hope that I put it across in a nice way and um, I also hope it really helped. So that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know if you do have any more ideas for my top five and I shall be filming another top five very soon, including a baby gift guide. So please keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, like this video and I shall see you all soon.